And the historic night in American politics. Virginia Democrats taking control of both chambers of the state legislature for the first time in more than two decades. Governor Ralph Northam proud of what he's seen transpire. The voters like the progress that we as Democrats have made over the past few years, and they want us to continue that progress over the next few years and beyond then. So it's going to take all of us working together to make sure that every Virginian has a job that they can support themselves and their families with. The Democrats who flipped the seats won't be sworn in until January. Well, not every outcome was completely clear cut. One race in particular was ridiculously close. That would be the 83rd House District in Virginia Beach. Democratic challenger Nancy Guy has apparently defeated Republican incumbent Chris Stolle by a grand total of 18 votes, according to unofficial vote tallies. Under state law, Stolle is now entitled to a taxpayer funded recount, meaning it could take a little while to get this one sorted out. So uh, we as Americans hold every vote to be very important and we want every vote to count and we recognize that technology might occasionally make a small error in a close election like this it matters and so it's important for us as citizens not to just say we have a clear winner let's let it go but to say we want to confirm that all the votes that were cast were counted appropriately. All right, if it seems sort of like history repeating itself, that's because it is sort of. Two years ago, David Yancey and Shelley Simons tied, and the winner ultimately was determined when a name was pulled out of a bowl. That was David Yancey, but last night Simons defeated Yancey.